you said at the yeah. top of the interview that wellness is a theme that you are seeing in 2023 that people are really focused on. There's this commitment to wellness. If you want to take a trip where wellness is at top of mind, where would you suggest people go? You know, you can really, you can invest in this sort of trip and go to a far flung destination. But if you're still kind of dipping your toes in the water and really just trying to see what there is out there that can really um, enhance your sense of well being while you're traveling, there's things on everyone's doorstep. Um, you know, I, I not to, you know necessarily talk about Florida again, but the Carilla Miami actually does a fabulous suite of touchless services um, from self guided meditation pods and you know obviously you're on the beach anyway which is always a great place to kind of enhance your well-being but what they have done is that they have ensured that your journey around well-being doesn't just stop in their spa their beds in their rooms actually teach you to sleep better and um, the air purifiers that are in the room help you breathe better um so it's really an all-round great place that's really vested uh, in your well-being and we're seeing a lot of brands do that as well um, but if you are, you know, looking for a much more immersive experience, Aman is a brand that does a really great job with wellness. They really focus in on the mind and the body. Um, and again, there you can dip your toe in the water and maybe just do one or two rituals. But if you're looking for a full well-being immersion, then the Aman Puri, which is actually in Phuket in Thailand, has its own uh, holistic wellness center. So you can kind of have a complete journey around that for your entire trip. And uh, Phuket is also another destination that we're focusing on uh, for 2023. So we're excited to get back there. Can you explain why wellness is top of mind for people now? Is it because of the pandemic? Is it because people really want when they're on vacation to enjoy themselves and de-stress? What is the reasoning here? I think really what this is about is people are being a lot more mindful about what's important to them uh, as they came out of the pandemic years. We were all hyper-focused during that time on our health. And that is not a trend or a phase that's going away. It's now something that people realize is really a big, important part of their life. So I think really when you travel, you want to feel well when you leave. You don't want to feel, as we were talking about before, that you need a vacation from your vacation. Uh, we have less time. Uh, I think the importance of time with your family is emphasized now, even more so than ever before. And therefore, doing things that make you feel well. Uh, beyond traditional spa treatments, I'm really talking about the, what you eat, what you breathe, what you see, what you do, the quality of time that you have with those that you travel with, uh, even if it's with yourself. Um, that is all definitely something that people are really vested in now and are actually making decisions around how they travel based on those commitments from a hotel. Overall, we're going to be seeing more travelers than ever in the past few years this summer. So what's your one piece advice of advice for jet setters in 2023? Book now. Oh my goodness. Demand is high, right? And we don't see that softening. The difference between the high demand we saw during the pandemic domestically here is that it's much more evenly spread globally now. Obviously, China uh, and Asia in general is back open. So that's got a lot of pickup, which is great. Um, but uh, to, to your point uh, as well, you know, US passport, I was just checking this morning, US passport renewal times are 10 to 13 weeks right now, seven if you expedite. So if you haven't got your passport, renew it now and maybe book for, book for 2024. Good advice. Amanda Frazier, thank you so much for joining me.